you through uh, the assembly of this chair. So it comes with really easy instructions and I love the fact that they labeled, you know, the different screws and stuff really easily. Um, so let's, let's get started. So it took about 30 to 35 minutes after I fumbled a little bit, but uh, first you take the feet and then inside the box you take the five wheels and you don't just push it in, you turn it a bit uh, because there's a way where it latches in a little bit easier. For some of them I tried to push, it went in, some I pushed, it didn't go in, and I just like turned it a little and then it went in easily. So once I did that, I just put uh, part C, this piece, in the hole, and then I left this piece on the floor, and this took about one minute. Uh, next, we took the chair, and then we took the two arms, and we took this um, really handy-dandy tool. Works so well, so easy to screw. And then I took uh, the appropriate screws, which is J, all four of them. And um, you see these black uh, dots in the front? That's what was in here, okay? I'll walk you through that last. So with uh, the arms, so where I had a slight delay was I actually, from the inside, where the arm is, I had to unscrew that a little bit and lower it because uh, it was a little bit too tight. I couldn't pull it down. So before you screw the arms in, um, they're right behind right behind this there's like two screws already in there i loosened it i lowered it and then i tightened it back um, and then i put in these two so this took me about 15 minutes so part three now you just flip the chair upside down you grab your k uh, nuts and washers and it's how you know is that it's stacked so K has washers M has washers so make sure you take them at the same time so this was really easy since the arms were already connected I just flipped it um, over a stool so it was easier to um, tighten and um, then I put in my screw and the washer Make sure your seat, the bottom seat cushion that you need, um, there's like a little sticker here and it says front. So make sure this sticker is sticking out, okay? Don't turn the cushion where it says front on the back. Make sure the front is in the front. So this was real easy, these two screws and two uh, washers, and this took about eight minutes. So what I like to do is I like to put lightly screw all four of them in and then make sure um, they screw in easily. I don't force it. Uh, I did one side, it was really easy to get in. The other side, it was a little bit tighter. So then I just switched the screws and it went in smoothly. Go figure. So this took me again about eight minutes. Then you take that uh, black metal bottom panel make sure that the handle is sticking on the correct side and here you just need uh, your tool again your m screws which is the shorter screws than the k screws and your four washers and here too i just screw them in to put it in place and make sure it's aligned and they all screw in easily then i screw it all down so this took about for four minutes then uh, this was the slightly not difficult part but now i put the chair on the floor and the chair leans a little bit because we just attached this um, so as it's leaning i just grabbed um, my tool again i the two small screws and 
screwed it in just make sure it goes all the way through the hole so before you go crazy screwing one in all tight screw them both so they they go into the black and then you screw it all the way in and what i mean by that is so here before i capped it see make sure you could screw it and it goes in and it's not like catching on to the side but then once you have them both in then you just tighten them and this one this part took me two to three minutes um now you put the chair and you insert the chair onto this thing so make sure you lift and look for the hole before you put it onto this so the last thing i did was i took all these caps uh, which are labeled which are labeled let's see two for here two caps there and four caps there so the caps it went here okay there's gonna be two caps that are more flat okay so these two flat ones are gonna be for up here the headrest the two angled ones I mean the four angled ones that kind of look like this are for the sides so you just make sure like this longer side is for the deeper side okay so that's how you put in these four and then you won't go wrong that you accidentally took or you spun it the wrong way and it won't go in so that's that this can lift this is to lift your the lumbar so if you need the lumbar you know more higher or lower this is where you're pulling it from this is the headrest and then let me put this back down and then this it's a little bit tight but this it, you can like lift it push the chair in or put it down or put it down and rest if you need to lift it and slide it under your desk it'll be out of the way and it's really comfortable so if you press the button if you press the button this will go up this is the lowest position and so for me even the lowest position is a little bit too high and I'm five foot four but my husband's torso is like a lot longer so for him it's gonna work really great but for me a little bit a little bit too high so uh, hopefully you can see so here's the the little notch so let me see if you can see yeah you can see Okay, so here's the little lever. So if I pull it up, it goes down. If I pull it up and get off the seat, it goes up. So if I get off my seat again, I think that's the max it can go up. So this is the max it can go up. So it reaches about like up to my knee. So I'll put in the description how tall. So this is my max height. So, and it walks very, very mildly. So, there you go. Took about 30, 35 minutes to install. Super easy.